Hey y'all, this is India Rose coming at you from the Pearl Girls in Athens, Georgia. If you watched last week's video, you saw me meet with my next door neighbor and go through her entire Pearl collection. One uh, item which was of particular interest were her Mave Pearl earrings. I'll show you the clip that good on the camera. I talk about these sometimes. Um, these are Mabe pearls. Yes. So, did you know that? that they're well, I knew that I paid a lot of money for them. In China, <laughs> even. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, in a real store. Yes. <laughs> well, and I bet this is, you know, they have all different styles of these, but I bet these are set in gold. You know, they're uh -huh. actually a real gold. You know, they have, they have this style of earring in a whole range of more costume jewelry. I'm sure you've seen that kind yeah, of look. Right, They'll yeah. be really big. It's like the Chanel button look. It's yes, like, right. but it's a half spherical pearl is basically what uh -huh. it is. So I came into the office at the end of the week and had another great experience with a Mave pearl. We received a ring for repair and I have another clip to show you. This um, clip is how the ring looked before we repaired it. So as you can see, it's that half of pearl, half a pearl, uh, in a rounded base. But this, it, this setting is loose. So now we've repaired the ring and we're going to send it back. And uh, our customer wanted to know more about this ring. And it is so absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to show it to you. Let me see if it comes in focus. Is that not beautiful? Diamonds, a beautiful pearl ring. Slip it on my finger. Is that not gorgeous? Even more gorgeous about this ring is, is there's a matching pair of earrings as well. Um, uh, she sent us photos. This is of her husband's grandmother wearing the matching earrings to these rings. So these are super old, a fantastic design, but our customer wanted to know, I mean, what are these pearls? So I thought I'd do another video on specifically Ma Bay pearls. So we're talking M-A-B-E. Mabe. Um, the origin of that word is believed to be possibly Japanese and it just means a pearl that's half this hemispherical, <laughs> that's half a pearl. So I'm going to kind of show you how they form because this same type of pearl can happen intentionally or unintentionally. Okay, so here is a shell from a Chinese freshwater. And we, you know, Mabe, by definition, means half a sphere, right? So it's gonna be that pearl. Let me, in fact, get this little ring back out. I've already put it away. Um, this design is a little deceptive because it does have that rounded bottom, but really the pearl is just there. So as you can see, it's not a perfectly round pearl. It is half of a pearl. So how we get those pearls is by them forming against the inside of the shell. So it really can only form half a pearl. So, and a lot of people don't know this, pearls form in the soft tissue body of a mollusk. So they are born whole and complete in that round pearl design. It is within the flesh of the mollusk. These that are fused to the side are called blister pearls. They form almost like a blister. But as you can see, you know, these look like these are rounded pearls, but if we cut, you know, to the side, it's going to be that same type of mabe pearl, half a pearl. So these fused to the side of the shell. This was not intentional, but this was part of the cultured pearl process. Now, I've got some other... Uh, shells. Here's a South Sea. And you can see the beginnings of that. It's kind of just a buildup of nacre, right? Nacre is the mother of pearl. It's the inner lining of the shell, the same material that's used to form the pearl. So you can see on this South Sea where it's built up. I've got a, a shell from the Sea of Cortez. You can also see where little pearls kind of formed there. 
And then, kind of my grand finale, drum roll please. This is an American Freshwater and that was on purpose. So this is how these big mauve pearls are formed. Although hers are saltwater mauve, so they were formed in the ocean. This is a freshwater mauve, but you know, I say this all the time. I mean, freshwater and saltwater, the main distinction between the two types of pearls is the water that they're formed in, right? So this is just a perfect to me example, and I'm gonna see if I can yeah, get it where it just doesn't have a big shiny light on it. Um, so this is exactly how mabes are formed. A mother of pearl half sphere bead is put inside the growing mollusk oyster and it forms the pearl over that piece of mother and pearl mother of pearl that's inside. So um, with these earrings, I'm going to show you the matching earrings again, you can see the diamond band in the middle and on each side of that diamond band is a mabe pearl. So they used two matching mabes. They did not use a full spherical pearl, which to me is just really neat and interesting. So really that those earrings have four half sphere mabe pearls with diamonds. This ring, of course, has just one mabe that they would have taken and cut out of the shell and set in the ring design. Now, because it was kind of wiggly in there, we were able to see that it really is half a sphere, although this ring was set in a setting that kind of has that, it almost gives the impression that it is a full spherical pearl. There is that small dip underneath the ring. So, um, but that's what these are. Like I said, um, they are saltwater mabes formed against the shell and then cut out and then just set in this fabulous setting. So what fun that we were able to work on this beautiful ring. This is India Rose with the Pearl Girls. Thanks for watching. Bye.